how do we perform breast MRI biopsy? That would be the next logical thing that would happen after you get a breast MRI, especially if you see something abnormal that you can't see by ultrasound or mammogram. So for people who do breast MR, um, when I lecture to radiologists, I tell them breast MR biopsy is um, a required component of the practice. Or if they don't have the capability to biopsy themselves, they have to partner with somebody who's willing to do the biopsies for them. Um, the reason is, these are some screening MRI results um, across different countries. You see Netherlands, Canada, UK, Denmark, US, Italy. In every study, there have been some cancers that have been seen only on MRI. Okay, this means that even in retrospect, you go back and you look at the mammogram or the ultrasound, you can't find it. So even knowing where to look, you still can't find it. So this is telling us that MR picked up something that the other modalities didn't. And this is some of the evidence that led to the recommendations for screening MR. But because some cancers are only seen on MR, then you need to be able to biopsy them under MR. Because if you can't see them under the other modalities, you don't know where to sample. Right? You don't want to do a mastectomy, you don't want to do very extreme stuff, and you don't want to just leave it alone. So, um, so how do you do MR biopsy? So this is done in the prone position, okay? What we do is we have an open configuration to the breast coil, and there's a grid. You can see the grid um, up here in the corner. And this grid compression device allows us to help localize, because we can see the grid lines. It makes an impression on the breast. And we count squares and, you know, we can figure out where things are. It's just like Battleship, you know, B3, is it there, right? Oh. Except you go with the inverse. You, you find the lesion and then you come back. Um, and, of course, you have to have an MR-compatible biopsy device because you need some kind of needle that's not going to get yanked into the magnet. That would be very bad. Here's an example of a lesion that we see on MR. It's this bright white dot in the middle of the breast. And um, there it is on a different type of MR sequence, but it's real. There's a real finding there. It's small. We couldn't find it on mammography, even in retrospect. We did try an ultrasound, and at ultrasound, we couldn't see it either. So that would be the intermediate step that we do because we know MR is expensive and MR biopsy is expensive. We'll often try a second look ultrasound. So if you can't find it, though, and you're stuck doing MR, then we do MR biopsy. And this is just... Um, a screenshot from our computer that shows that we do have localization software for this as well. This is just showing the accuracy to which you can target by MR. This uh, arrow, orange arrow, is pointing to a little black dot, and then the white thing is the MR lesion that we're interested in. So there, that thing is called the obturator, and you can see that by MR you can get right on top of it, and then you will sample, you'll actually excavate, excavate a little bit of tissue around it and send that to pathology. So this is that waffle appearance from the grid that we can see on the scan just because the grid creates an indentation in the breast and that's how we verify where we are. We put fiducials in as well. So a lot of clues to tell us where we are so that we can target very accurately. And then after we're done, we always leave a little clip behind. Why do you leave a clip behind? Well, in case this is cancer and you need to go back, you don't want to be going back to MR. If you leave a clip marker behind, it's like leaving it behind a breadcrumb. Now we can target this under mammography. So if the patient needs further surgery, we take her to mammography, we see the little clip marker, we put a wire where the clip is, and that infers where the tumor was. We can do biopsy from just about any approach at UC. So most places will take a lateral approach because that's the easiest, but we have an open coil configuration. We can go medial if we need to, so we can take the shortest distance. We can also do bilateral breast MR biopsy if the patient's unfortunate enough to need sampling of both breasts. We'll do them at one sitting in one day.